Today at Reference Home Theater, I'm reviewing what for me was the most exciting product at the Cedia Expo in 2019, the new Meridio 7G pattern generator. The 7G comes packaged in this nice carrying case, along with a portable tripod and other accessories. Compared to the Meridio 6G that I've used as a pattern generator for a number of years, the 7G is much larger, and unlike the 6G, it cannot operate off of a battery. You need to connect it to an AC outlet. The larger size of the Meridio 7G allows for buttons providing quick access to all the features and test patterns included with it. On the back of the Meridio 7G, you'll find a number of connections. There's a connection for an input lag tester, for an audio lag tester microphone. There are both HDMI outputs and inputs, so you can test ARC and EARC. There is an external two-channel line level audio input. There is IP control via Ethernet, so you can control this instead of just using a COM port. There's RS-232 control. There is a audio out for both coaxial and Toslink if you need that instead of HDMI. There's a serial controller, there's the standard USB controller, and then there's the power connection. There's also a EARC output here at the top in one of the expansion ports, and there's an open expansion port for future use. Included with the Meridio 7G are video and audio lag testers. The video lag tester can be stuck onto a screen for OLED and LCDs and has a tripod mount for measuring input lag on projectors. The microphone can be placed next to speakers or next to a TV to measure the audio lag from the audio processing in your receiver or from the TV. Compared to the Meridio 6G I have been using, the 7G looks to make my reviewing much easier. IP control means I don't need to use a USB hub with my laptop when also connecting my meters, and integrated input lag testing will free me from using the Leo Bodnar and provide far more in-depth data than I was able to provide in the past. The 7G also has a number of other features that will make my reviewing process easier and more accurate. The Meridio 7G pattern generator supports resolutions up to 4K at a number of refresh rates, including 120 frames per second at 1080p resolution. For each resolution, you can also select the bit depth, enable HDR or Dolby Vision, and select the color space. The Meridio 7G comes preloaded with a huge selection of test pattern content. Beyond the test patterns that were included with the Meridio 6G, there is a huge selection of 4K and HDR patterns from diversified video solutions, test patterns and clips from Spears and Munsell, as well as patterns for Dolby Vision. You also have the ability to load your own test patterns, in case one that you use all the time isn't present on the 7G. Since this selection of test patterns can be overwhelming, the 7G allows you to save up to 16 test patterns as favorites, placing those on a single screen to allow quick access. For both the reviewer and the professional calibrator, this makes your life much easier, as you can find all the patterns you need for setup and initial analysis in a single location to fit your own workflow. As you can see with these clips from Spears and Munsell, you aren't limited to static test patterns, but can also test for deinterlacing and for motion handling. Four buttons on the 7G allow quick access to two image presets and two test screens. Here I've programmed the shortcuts to take me directly to the input lag test and to my favorite test patterns. My image presets have been set up for Ultra HD with 10-bit color and HDR10 enabled for testing HDR and 1080p with those features disabled for testing SDR. The 7G comes preloaded with uncompressed HDR test clips from Spicy Pixels to show what a display is capable of. The most useful test clips here for me are two that are filmed at 1080p but at 120 frames per second to better test TVs with higher refresh rates and black frame insertion. While we don't have many 120 frames per second sources today, video game consoles later this year will have the ability to do this. These clips show the improved clarity and quality of motion we can expect if these consoles can deliver. The 7G has a full suite of audio test tools for verifying that a home theater system is working correctly 
And in that audio menu, we also find the input lag test. Unlike the Leo Bodnar, the 7G can test a wide variety of resolutions and refresh rates, including with HDR and up to 120 frames per second. This gives me far more accurate data for my reviews, and I can perform the tests much faster than I ever could before. Here I can measure input lag on a TV, and then I can change the preset from movie to game and quickly measure again to see how this has impacted my measurements. Before this would have taken me far longer to finish and a much more complicated setup. We can gather other useful information using the 7G. Looking at the EDID of the display, we can see what resolutions and formats it supports, as well as the bandwidth of the HDMI inputs. When connected over ARC or EARC, we can see what audio formats are supported by the display. Finally, under the system menu, we can set up IP control, adjust the internal fan, check the firmware, and reset the hardware if needed. Meridio also provides a Windows app that allows IP or USB control of the 7G. Using IP control, you can control every feature and quickly switch patterns, change resolutions, and measure input lag. For input lag, this is ideal, letting me measure and record from the PC while changing settings with the remote, saving me lots of time, and letting me check every possible resolution and HDR format for input lag versus just checking one or two. There are a few things on the 7G that could be improved. Since almost all of my calibration work is done in the dark, an option to have the controls be backlit to see them more easily would be useful. I'd also like the fan control to be automated, since I don't know when it might overheat and don't want to take the chance, but the fan is not quiet. I also wish the input lag target had an option to match the location on the Leo Bodnar one, since that could explain the difference that we're seeing, even though those are small at about one millisecond. Also, some of the test patterns can't currently be added to my favorites through the device, but I can through the Windows software. No one that isn't a calibrator or a viewer and is watching this likely needs the Meridio 7G, but you can be happy that it exists. It makes my life easier, with faster access to the tools I need, so I can do a better job and provide even more analysis than I did before. I'm very happy that Meridio has approved upon the 6G and plan to keep using the 7G going forward for all of my reviews. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like it and subscribe to be notified of future videos. Also make sure to use the comments if you have any questions about the Meridio 7G so we can make sure to answer those.